prolific, so gifted. I'm the type that's gon' go get it. sister got from a restaurant and that I don't use or don't need so I put it outside and there's a sign on the other side and it says please take they have never been used so it's nine o'clock in the morning so we're gonna see in a few hours how many is gone and just like that the shit is gone. Look at that. A neighborly duty. This is what it said. On the outside. I live in our dabble. They don't got beef for some girl. This is the reason it's value. Hi guys, don't mind me. Don't mind my my hair, my face. Uh, everything's so bad. I don't know. I got some Chick Fil A, so I figured I'd do a mukbang with you guys. But um, lately my face has been really breaking out. I don't know why. It's disgusting. And. trying to maintain but it gets dry so quick these days mm. why are you gonna kill me I'm not getting fries. Anyway, when I was in like junior high school, right? I had this friend, and let's say her name was like Amy. And it was mad cool, mad close. Um, we used to hang out every day, and in the summertime, like a summer like that, we wasn't working or whatever. Like all the way, like we was cool. Like we used to hang out every day, like in junior high school, and in high school. And basically, this was like more of like eighth grade, um, eighth grade, ninth grade. So, in the summertime when we wasn't working, like it was one summer where we didn't do nothing all summer. Absolutely nothing. And like she would come to my house, pick me up, and we would like go out. Like go outside, go hang out in the neighborhood. Or we would go somewhere, travel somewhere, go to the mall, whatever, whatever. It was cool. It was fun. And we did that every single day. It started to get annoying after a while, but it was just like, whatever. Sometimes I would act like I was, like, tired and shit. Just because, like, not that I was getting tired of her, but I just needed something different for the day. Like, mm, same shit every day. Like, annoying. But yeah, so 
Money. So. This is so good. Hey. Hi. How are you? Want a fry? I got you. Why is that sticking in here? I got you. I got you a um. Ah, sorry. I got you a chicken sandwich too. Hey. Okay. Mm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm good, right? I'm doing a story time. Mm. So I have friends that. I feel like mm -hmm. I had a bunch of different group of friends. Mm -hmm. Like I was always watch it. I was always that friend that was cool with everybody. Like I had many different friends. Like I would have friends that's like popular, and then I would have be friends with like like the Geek Squad, like kids that's like good in science and like I'm sorry what stuff like that. I'm okay, not too. Hold on, I'll give you the next one. You be with them or no? No. I only made one of the friends. So Why you left your homegirls? What? You <laughs> made your friends. Why you left them? With who? The little girls? Mm-hmm. Oh, because you called over here. I didn't call you over here. You Money! He's riding your bike this way. Oh, I was trying to find a worm and they wouldn't listen to me. So I just decided to go home. You're rude. I'm not rude. So, yeah. So, I had like a different group of friends all the time. <laughs> Get that bike away from my car. Oh, I hurt you. Okay, bye. And see if my car is scratched. This couldn't have been a large prize. That's so annoying. So yeah. I feel like she would get jealous. I feel like Amy would get jealous sometime. My other friends. But she knew she was my main friend because we hung out like all the time. So she used to do like annoying little things. Like, when she used to come and get me, like that summer, that she came to get me every single day. It was like the same routine. We would wake up, take a shower, get dressed, and then come outside. Um, she would do weird shit, like go and like smell my armpits and be like, like, I just smell mad good. And I'm like, Okay. I hated that. That shit was not annoying and like, ill. I don't know. But I just never said nothing because I was my friend. I ain't, like, I'm a type I never really want to hurt nobody's feelings or whatever. But now I'm different. I don't know why. But yeah, that's how I used to be. But yeah, she used to do a little annoying shit. But anyway. Um. Hi. Fries. There's no more fries. I don't know why. I asked for what? a large. Yeah, this is it. I asked for a large, but it. I'm I was just I know you're good because there's no more. But I was just telling them. You listen, hello. Mm -hmm. I was just telling them that this couldn't have been a large fry. Okay. You want your sandwich? And she used to come like really close to my face, like. Like, no type of personal space. Like, it's like, yeah, we cool, we friends, we mad, cool, blah, 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 whatever. But, like, certain things is just not okay. Like, there's no reason you should be, like, this close to my face. Like, but anyway, you know, I ain't really say shit. It was just like, like, I know a few times I backed up. And a few times I was just like, what are you doing? But I just, I, I used to be the type, I used to be. <laughs> 
I used to be the type of person that I really never wanted to offend anybody or hurt anyone's feelings. So I never used to like tell them like how I like I never used to like put them in a place and tell them to back up and shit like that. I never used to do that because I never wanted to hurt anybody's feelings. You know, or judge anyone, or I don't know. I'm still a little kind of like that, but anyway, one day she, I was on punishment because I was bad. Like even though I had a best friend and we used together every day, I still had a boyfriend in like ninth, eighth, ninth grade, and we used to like hang out and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. Mm. I don't know why I was on punishment, but it had to be something to do with my boyfriend. Like me sneaking out or something, or missing curfew or something like that. I don't know, but anyway. Um,. So, that's good. I was on punishment. She decided to write me a letter. And I don't know if she slid it under the door. I don't remember. I know she didn't hand it to me, like, personally. Like, here you go. This is for you. I think maybe she had like I think Hello Hello Hey grandma I already saw what you did Good how are you? So, where was I? So, yeah, I don't remember how I got the note. I know that she didn't give it to me personally, like, in my hand. I think she, like, slid it under my door or something. And then, like, texted me and told me to come to the door. Or something like that. It was something like that, but, yeah. So, I read the letter. And it basically said, like, that she was in love with me. And like she wanted to be my girlfriend and all this stuff and I was really immature she was really immature I don't think she knew what she was saying I don't think she meant what she was saying but me being on that immature level I like told my mother and then I told my sisters and then like I just blew it up like out of proportion like oh she's gay or whatever you know and it it's crazy because now that i look back it's like i should have just maybe written her a letter back since i had the time on, on my hands i was on punishment anyway and i should have told her like you know i don't really think that's a good idea or you know i have a boyfriend and blah 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 whatever the case is and like let her down easily while she's like you know exploring her sexuality um, but I didn't. I kind of just blew everything up, blew everything out of proportion. I was bugging out. Um, next time I saw her, I wound up like, like yelling at her, and we wound up getting into it. We wound up like having like a little physical altercation. Um, like I told her mother. I yelled it out in front of her, her mother and her sisters. Like it was just a lot, and. I didn't realize like how embarrassing it may have been to her um but I'm sure it was and I was just like really immature you know so um and I guess I was kind of like uneducated on that topic and I just reacted how I guess I thought was the right way to react which definitely wasn't and we hadn't 
after that we hadn't been friends for like a few years and like that was like literally like the end of our friendship and then um like as adults or whatever we you know had each other we got each other on social media and we just comment here and there or like things here and there and that's really it like i'm cool with her her siblings like nobody has any beef or anything like we all know that was just like childish years childish days or whatever i honestly think before we turned adults like like we didn't hang out again but it was just like you know just like a cool vibe like oh hey you know like there's no beef here you know type of vibe so that um we squashed that or whatever like we never honestly i feel like we did talk about it but we didn't it's like we tried to talk about it and like with our families and stuff like that we tried to like you know talk about it put it put it to rest put an end to it and it kind of like didn't turn out well it was just still yelling and bs going on and um like we just kind of like agreed to like disagree and then that was just that but she definitely denied it though I will say that. I mean, of course, if your mom doesn't know that, you know, you look at the same sex like that, of course, you would feel embarrassed. So, um, she definitely denied it. She didn't take that as her coming out and take that, you know, that advantage, that opportunity as her coming out, which probably wouldn't, wasn't a good idea to anyway because of how it was presented to them in like such a vulgar way and disrespectful way. But, um, yeah. Like, that was that. Whatever. Alright, on that note, I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Later. Who you with? I'm with the lions and gorillas, gang bangers and drug dealers. All them skimmers and them killers who I hang with. Yeah, it tastes good.